We have a reason to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have a reason to thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesterday is gone And today is here Do something new in my life Oh no Yesterday Appreciating this 
morning, appreciating this morning, for allowing us the chance to be in his presence this morning. Appreciate him, appreciate him this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If we want to start with him, to start in the new slate, to start on a new page, we have to start also with a clean heart, to start with a clean soul. Praise the Lord. So we are going to open our mouths this morning and confess our sins and ask for his forgiveness. Ask him to pray us. Ask him to pray us. Ask him to forgive our sins. Ask him to forgive our sins this morning. Just open your mouth. Mention them one by one. Things that you have done. Me knowingly or unknowingly. Mistakenly with your mouth. Mention them one by one. Ask him this morning. Just say, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Lord, have mercy on my children. Lord, have mercy on my home. Lord, have mercy on my marriage. Lord, have mercy on me, O Lord. Lord, have mercy, have mercy, O Lord. There's a new beginning, O Lord, I ask for your mercy, O Lord. As I start a new year, O Lord, Father, have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy on me, have mercy on my home, have mercy on my household, have mercy on my marriage, have mercy on my wife, have mercy on my husband, have mercy on my children. This one is just open your mouth, open your mouth, ask for his mercy. Ask him to page us, page us, page us, O Lord. Ask him to page you, page you. So we can start this service with a new beginning, with a new slate, with a new page, with a new clean heart this morning. Just open your heart and ask him this morning, ask him this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, the, 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 the theme or the word to take along in 2024 was our total freedom. Praise the Lord. Our total freedom. Praise the Lord. We are going to open our mouth this morning and ask the Lord to grant us that total freedom. He has spoken through his prophet and he has said that this year will be our year of total freedom. Now we have to claim it. It is left to us to claim it this morning. So let us just open our mouth and claim that total freedom. Just say, I claim my freedom. My freedom from sickness. I claim it this morning. My freedom from poverty. I claim it this morning. My freedom from lack. My freedom from doubt. My freedom from backwardness. My freedom from sin. My freedom. I claim my freedom this morning. I claim my freedom. As I start 2024, I claim my freedom. As I start this service this morning, I claim my total freedom. My total freedom. My total freedom this morning. Just claim it. Claim it this morning. Claim it this morning. Open your mouth and claim it this morning. Just claim it this morning. Call unto the Lord and say, Lord, I thank you for granting me my total freedom. Because we believe we have done it. Because we believe we have granted us this freedom. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. We thank you. We glorify your name. Thank you, glory, thank you, honor, our Lord. Thank you for our total freedom. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.
possible for us to see this new year. Let's bless his name this morning and appreciate him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be unto the Lord in the highest.
worship and your saints say amen. Be seated in the presence of your Father. Somebody and say happy new, happy new Year. Tell you how welcome to 2024. Yes, and don't fail to congratulate yourself. Congratulations, we made it. The God that we serve promised us that we will not die, that nothing will be missing. And today, the first Sunday, we are here again to tell Him thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't think because you're strong, because a lot. Even went out to do that, according to uh, Minister uh, Abisha told us this morning, a lot went out for fireworks. Some even told people just an hour before the new year, I'll see you in a minute, I'll see you later. And they never came back to testify. So we say, Thank you, Lord. None is missing. And Father, we will also be here next year to tell you. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Those watching on us on, watching us online, Merry Christmas in Aria. Happy New Year. Thank you. We thank God for your life. Thank you for joining us once again. And may God continue to bless you as you um, make, as you join us. Um, please, while you are out there, don't forget to share. Share, share, share. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. There is something about the new year. It has, it's like a new page. And we pray that the Lord will open a new fresh page in our life. The one filled with testimonies, the one filled with praises that we will know our purpose in this house. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, I'll be doing uh, one or two announcements because of time. Let me go straight to it. Today, I don't know if some of us know why we are here. It is a thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. It's like we are still wondering what it is. Thanksgiving. It means we are here to tell God thank you for what he has done in 2023. And we are here to tell him thank you for what he's going to do in 2024. Amen. Amen. So let's us rise up and give a shout to this God. It is Thanksgiving. Somebody shout praise God. Amen. Father, we thank you. For those that are thanking you for what they've done, for what you've done in their life, Father, continue to act today. Continue to do your best in their life. We thank God for what he has been doing. It is Thanksgiving today, um, 7th of January, 2024. We thank those that are here for the first time for joining us. And those that are watching us online, thank you for switching on also. This is Power of Resurrection Church of Christ. We watch you here every Sunday from 11 to 1. Thank you for joining. Uh, we have a series of uh, programs lined up for January already. Starting from tomorrow, the program starts. Tomorrow, 8th of January, we have the, our fasting starts. It's going to be for 21 days from 8th to 28th of January. Media, please. So that program, please be a part of it from 8th to 28th of January, uh, to 21st of January. There's going to be fasting. Please join us. For those that want um, information about what, uh, when, the prayers and all the others, please try contact the media or contact uh, somebody here and they will give you a breakdown of what is happening. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We also have, in those 21 days, we have series of about three prophetic Sundays or conferences as you may call them. They are one of my very special ones. That is Power Pass 
power. That is the time somebody makes some noise. Come on. When you talk of power past power, if you are a believer of this church, of this movement of God, and you are a part of this family, you know power past power is the time when things begin to happen in your life. When you begin to, God begin to push you towards the right direction. Those that have been waiting for fruit of wounds, those that have been waiting for, I mean, for those dead things to wake up in their hands, that is the time. Power past power, three prophetic Sundays. That is the 14th, that is the 21st, and if I'm not mistaken, the 28th, which is the last day we are closing it with. Power past power. Put it down, invite somebody to invite somebody to invite somebody. We cannot be a partaker of these powers alone. Share, share, share. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So, we have two things. That is today's Thanksgiving. Tomorrow we start our fasting. Within those three, those 21 fasting days, we have Power Pass Power programs, conferences, and we have, we are inviting powerful men of God, which will be a part of those programs. First of all, we have Pastor Joel. Amen? Amen. We have Pastor Audion coming over. On, uh, and we also have Pastor Alba, which is here, who is here with us today. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And uh, Tim will be enforcing my total freedom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please be a part of it. 14th, 21st, and the 28th of, August, of January. Be a part of it. Power pass power. Invite somebody to invite somebody. Really, I promise you, the Lord is going to be here. And he will do wonders. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, um, that is all for the uh, announcement. Uh, now I have some testimonies. First of all, from Sister Taffy. Amen. Amen. Celebrate her birthday. Praise God. Praise God.
Amen. Amen. There's so much to tell you. The time, time, time. Angelic voices of presentation.
Amen. Acts chapter 14, verse 25. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when they had preached the word in Pega, they went down into Atalia. And then sailed to Antioch, from whence they had been re recommended to the grace of God for the work which they fulfilled. And when they were come and had gathered in the church together, they rehearsed all that God had done with them, and how he had opened the door of faith unto the Gentiles. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to recommend all our testimony in this year in the name of Jesus. That whatever the Lord has done in the previous year and this year, we will pray, we will shout for joy in the name of Jesus. This is the story of Paul and Silas when they were in prison. The Bible says they, 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 they sing song unto the Lord. Beloved, this is our year of total freedom. That means something will happen before you can regain your freedom. It's not going to come as easy like that, but something will happen before you regain your total freedom. So I'm trying to hold you this morning that when you pray, your answer will come gradually. But when you praise God, when you make your heart a heart of thanksgiving unto you, it will come suddenly. Answer will begin to come suddenly. Just like what happened to Paul and Silas. He said they were singing praises. Even the other prisoners, they are aware of it. They heard it. It was a loud noise unto them. They heard it that this is a shout of joy. They were singing praises despite of being in bondage, despite of being in sickness, despite of being in debt, despite of whatever they may come to their ways. Beloved, they were singing praises to the Lord. They did not allow their situation to tie them down. This year, beloved, I'm going to tell you whatever that may come to your way, you have to put on the clothes of, of praises unto the Lord, of thanksgiving. Attitude, the gratitude has to be our attitude in this year. If you want your total freedom, freedom to come forth, we have to sing unto the Lord a joyful song. The Bible says we should thank the Lord always. It didn't say when things are rosy. It didn't say when everything is beginning to, to work together for our good. It said we have to sing unto the Lord. We have to praise the Lord. We have to give thanks unto the Lord. Always, in every season, in winter, in summer, whatever they may come to your way, beloved, we have to sing a wonderful song and praise the Lord always. Don't just sing unto the Lord when you are coming forth to give testimony. 2024 has to be our year of thanksgiving. If you want your total freedom to be given unto you, you have to be praising the Lord. You have to be thanking for the Lord. There's a video I received this uh, week. I share it. There was a man that was celebrating his birthday. You know, it's a joyful thing. He was dancing. Suddenly he fell and died on the spot. So before you allow something like that, before, be, be, before something like that can happen, beloved, I didn't say it's a good, it's not a good news at all. But we never know when our time will come. So we have to get our, ourselves ready. The time we can make correction is now. We have to make things ready, prepare ourselves for the law. Because the time that is coming is unknown to us. Get yourself available, have the Lord to prepare you for his coming. So that when God comes, it's not going to be, you are not going to be on our way. I pray the Lord will prepare our prepare us for his coming in the name of Jesus Christ. 2024 have to be our year of thanksgiving. We have to praise the Lord despite whatever they may come in the world, in your marriage, over your children, in the place of your world. Beloved, 
sing a wonderful song. Let people know that what is going on. I begin to tell them, despite you have been in this situation, you are singing unto the Lord because you know your answer has come. You may not see it physically, but you know it will manifest because that is the purpose why Jesus came. He said it is finished. All the anxiety, all the tribulation, whatever pains we are passing through, the lack and want, beloved, it is finished on the cross. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we begin to rise up on our feet this afternoon and begin to give thanks to the Lord? Say thank you, Jesus, for the privilege of 2024. Many people started 2023 together, but unable to witness 2024. By the grace of God, we are not being consumed. Lift your voice unto him this morning and begin to say, God, I've come to give thanks to you. I have come to say thank you. Beloved, thank God before the situation happened. Remember the story of, of Jesus Christ. When Martha and Mary we are even crying because of their brother last hour that passed away. Jesus came on the spot. It was before he even starts praying. He was asking the Lord. He was thanking the Lord in advance. He was thanking the Lord in advance before he started praying. Don't bombard Jesus Christ with your with your request this year. Begin to develop a dead a heart of thanksgiving. Begin to give thanks to the Lord before the situation. Give thanks to the Lord even in this situation. Give thanks to the Lord. Begin to appreciate the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord in 2024. Begin to thank the Lord in advance. Tell the Lord the one you serve has come to give thanks to you. The church people you serve has come to thank you this morning. Father, the one you serve has come to give you all the honor. We are here to say thank you for so much you have done for us in the previous year. And we are thanking
hour of presentation church of Christ. It is our Thanksgiving. So please, let's welcome one another. Yes, you are welcome in the name of the Lord.
Acts 20, 24. The Lord has said it's a year of total freedom. You need to speak to every area of your life that you want to be free. You need to command that area, those shackles that have held you down, those stagnations you have experienced in 2023. You need to say, I set myself free from every spirit of stagnation. You need to mention that one after the other. Probably most of you have some health challenges in 2023. Say, this year 2024, I am free from every sickness. I am free from every shackle, from the pit of hell.
same man of God, what we've been praying for has happened. Hallelujah. He has thrown every door. We've been believing God together. I see, man of God, it happened eventually. Hallelujah. I see, I told you, my God is real. Amen. And he sang that song. And I know somebody in this assembly or online, that will be your soul speedily before the first quarter this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know that area of your life or whatever you are believing God for. I join my faith with your faith. I move you to the next phase of your life. I move you to the bridge you will be waiting for. In the name of Jesus Christ, your expectation is activated now. Your expectation is activated now. I receive them in your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will lift up our voice that law before the first quarter of this year. Father, answer me speedily. Lord, answer me speedily. Every prayer request I have written, Lord, before the first quarter, let me begin to see results. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. He cast out to the brand of this. He goes out to the brand of this. Father, before the first quarter, let me be the first to testify. Let my hope be the first to testify. Let me testimony and break through in homes, in family, in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. He and those Zokotoli brother for the year. This year is my year. My Zokotoli brother and those Zokotoli are here. My Zokotoli are here. My Zokotoli My year is this year. My Zokotoli are Before the first quarter, Lord, relieve that breakthrough. An amazing breakthrough. An amazing testimony in this assembly, in my home, in the life of my wife, my kids, my life. In the name of Jesus, over the love of every one under the sound of my voice, Father, that testimony, that breakthrough, that healing, that supernatural, that encounter that you should have been waiting for. Father, be from the first quarter. Lord, show yourself strong in their life. 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 Let them know that you only you that does one of my so totally brand is. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hey. In of of we thank you. We bless your name because there is no like you. Thank you for how far you have helped us. You have not left to us like an orphan. You have let the devil know that we are serving the living God. Lord, we appreciate you. We lift up your holy name. Lord, I pray for everyone that is out of my voice. As we journey in 2024, Father, you have said this year is a year of total freedom. And I have told them they are free from their sickness. I have told them they are free from their shackles. I have told them they are free from failure. I have told them they are free from depression. I have told them they are free from lack of promise. I have told that this year will be an amazing year for them. Father, as you have spoken through me to them, Father, let them be free from shackles. Let them be free from oppression. Let them be free from poverty. Let them be free from profit and fame. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone under the sound of my voice, probably you started a project. Believing God that God, I need the resources this year. The Lord will set that up ahead of you and will give you the financial resources you need. In the name of Jesus Christ, maybe you are looking for a new business, what to do, a new idea has just been dropped to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this year you are free from lack of idea, lack of vision, lack of destiny. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will speak clearly to you and direct you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that held you on the spot. By the power in the name of Jesus, that shame is broken. Stagnation is ending now in your life. It has ended now. In the name of Jesus Christ, over your family, over your children, over your life, over everyone that's connected to you, you will not cry this year. You will not mourn them this year. No one shall be missing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we started this year with praise. We will hear the praise. We will hear the victory. We will hear the breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, I will not you will not mourn me. In the name of Jesus Christ, with long life, God will satisfy you. With long life, God will satisfy you. With long life, God will satisfy you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as I go to your world, speak to me. Talk every life under the sound of my voice. Let them have reason to give thanks. Lord, at the end, when the trumpet sounds, we pray that every one of us will with you. In the name of Jesus. In whichever area that the devil have deprived us, blindfolded us, Lord, let our heads be open. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you because of answer. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord, somebody. Shout a bigger hallelujah. And the sister is present.
know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. Oh, I know. I know my Redeemer liveth. Yes, I know. I know my Redeemer liveth. Yes, I know. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth and I know that's why you are so confident that this year will end well with you because you know, you know that your Redeemer is on the throne is alive, tell your neighbor your Redeemer is alive say your Redeemer is alive say it doesn't matter what situation you are looking at now, say before the first quarter of this year I say it's your life you are free from them in the name of Jesus by his grace, I will be speaking on what I've captured, the power of thanksgiving. See, your neighbor, it is important to thank the Lord. You know, as a matter of fact, when you look back at your life and see what God has done in your life, in the life of the children, it works to thank God. If you look back and count the blessing that God has done for you, even as we speak right now, we are still on the seventh day of 2024. There are testimony already. Amen. And I know before this service ends, if you have not shared any, you will call me before the head of the week. That pastor, God has done it. Amen. Because our God is the only one that does miracles. He doesn't count on what you have. He counts on what he has. And when you can give him thanks for what he has done, you are expecting to have more. And I pray that the God Almighty begin to visit every one of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power of thanksgiving. And I'll be using the book of Psalm 34. Psalm 34. And I'm going to read from verse 1. You see, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be what? In my mouth. Praise the Lord. You see, I will bless the Lord at what? At all times. Tell your at all times. Say your neighbor at all time. Say at all time. When I was looking at the Bible, I was expecting to say, I will bless the Lord when I buy a new car. Oh, oh, I will bless the Lord when I have a new house. I will bless the Lord if things are working according to my will or according to my plan. But you see, I will bless the Lord at all time. It means, regardless of what I'm going through, I will still bless the Lord. Regardless of what I'm going through, I will speak well of the Lord. If I want to use another language, if you say I will bless God, say I will continue to speak well of the Lord. Sometimes in, the, in our situation when we have challenges, we speak evil of God. But this writer, he said, I will continue to bless him. It means I will continue to speak well, regardless of what is going through in my life, regardless of the situation that is going through. I will continue to speak well of my God. I will continue to speak well of my creator. I will not let the devil trample my praise. He said, I will do it continually. Amen. Continually. Amen. Do you think the devil is happy when you praise God? No. What the devil wants to take from you is your praise. If your devil can shut your mouth to praise or to bless the name of the Lord, the devil has won the battle. And I pray for you. The devil has lost the battle and it has lost completely in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not win the battle by your lying in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I will continue it. I will not allow his praise to get out of my mouth. I don't know what you are going to right now. The psalmist is speaking to you. He said, continue blessing the Lord. Amen. Your blessing or your miracle is hidden behind your blessing, your praise. If you look at what you wonders about last year, for example, situation that you talk that will take your life. Tell your neighbor, I am still here. I am still here. here. Doctor gave you reports about your life, about your wife, about your husband, about your children. Paul, the children are still here. Hallelujah. Your wife is still here. Amen. Your husband is still here. Amen. Because the Lord has said so. Amen. He said, with long life, Will I satisfy you? Amen. With long life, will I satisfy your children? Amen. With long life, will I satisfy your husband? Amen. It's the Lord's doing. And that's the reason. Don't look at what is going around you. Look at the capacity of who has spoken. 
This is what I can carry through 2024. That will not shut your mouth from praising Him. If you can close your eyes from what you see and focus on the eternal and see what the capacity of the speaker. Who is that man that was speaking? If God speak, what will we do? We must obey. He said, but for me and my house, I will continue to bless the Lord. Amen. Say to yourself, I will continue to bless the Lord. Say for me and my house, I will continue to bless the Lord. Say for me and my house, I have made up my mind to continue to bless the Lord. It doesn't matter. I will speak well of God. I will speak well of him. Some people have changed their mind about God because they asked God to do something and God did not answer them on time. And they begin to speak evil about God. If you go online, you see a lot of people speaking evil about God. They will tell you, God cannot heal you. God can. How can God heal you when you live in the flesh? Praise God. The Bible says, a carnal man cannot understand God. It takes a spiritual person to know what God is doing. Difficult. And sometimes I don't blame people when they act that way because they are so carnal. They are speaking from their flesh. But we that are Christian, either we are up or down, the Bible has instructed us. What will bring you from downside to up is by praising Him. You praise your way out of challenges. And I speak to a home and family today. This year, your praise will take you out of your challenges. We move you to your next level. In the name of Jesus, your praise will release you from shackle and take you to the place of freedom. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same way did for Paul and Silas when they were in prison. The Bible said their praise saved them. They were making noise. Praising God. And what happened? Suddenly, something happened. Hallelujah. The earthquake came. And what happened? They were free. Losing from prison. Tell them, I declare over your life. As you praise God this year, your total freedom is enacted. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will be free completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, you can see that in the book of Acts chapter 16, from verse 25 to 26. Acts 16, verse 25 to 26. He said, while they were praising God, the neighbors, they heard. People, prison mates, they were looking at them. Just like people mock you sometimes when you praise God. They look at you in prison, praising God. In shackles, praising God. Doctor gave me a report of death. Yes, praising God. They will laugh at you. She was saying, when Paul and Sal were present, the people, the roommates, they will be looking. I believe they will be laughing. They will be thinking, what is this guy doing? If that God cannot save you from going to the prison, why do you think that God will now remove this shackles, very big shackle in your hand? And look at the door. Iron gates everywhere. You know, to the people that will enjoy the miracle, they thought it's sudden. But to Paul and Silas, they know what they are doing. It is not sudden to them because they are praising God, expecting something to happen. But for people around them, they hear me, they, they say it's sudden, but like when you are fasting and praying, you, know, you are praying, you are fasting. People, they don't see your breakthrough. Praying for your life, praying for your children, praying for your family. They don't see it now. But when things begin to happen, they say, oh, when they start, they don't know when you started. When you begin to cry to God, praise God, fasting and prayer, praying for the future of your life, praying for your vision, praying for your children. When the thing gets activated, to you, it's not sudden, but to them, it's sudden. Yes. Because they will say, when, but to you, you'll be waiting for it because you have been on your knee praying. You have prepared yourself for the day to happen. Why? Because you know exactly you praise God and you know in happy the praise of his people. So when praise is there, the devil flees. Because he knew God loved praise. Praise. If you make praise your friend throughout this year, my sisters, you are ready for an amazing year. 
for an amazing year. If you did it for Paul and Silas, that's why I know he can also do it for you. And I know he will do it for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It was your grace that will open the door and they will get to enjoy their freedom. Look at what the Bible says in the book of 1 Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 16 to 18. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. Look at what the Bible says. It says, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Praise God. So it is the will of Jesus. Without ceasing. Continually. In anything. I know there are people under the sound of my voice right now. Even as years on seventh right now. If people write down the challenge they were brought just seven days in this year, you will shock. Because of no experience, it does not mean that some people are not going through pain. Since you start just seven days. But what gets you out of that challenge is the Bible said, continue to thank God. Because I know all things work together for good. Hallelujah. All things work together for good. Either he's training me or he's telling me something. That's why I continue to praise even when I don't understand why the challenge is. Instead of me to speak evil of him, to think, why God? I will speak well of God. I will bless the name of the Lord at all times. I will let the devil know you can't shut my mouth. You say, though he slay me. I know it's it, doing things lately, but yet, devil, I, I make up my mind with this God. Amen. It doesn't matter the challenges that come our way this year. As you journey through, make up your mind that I will not allow the challenge to shut my mouth. Because some of us will use our own mouth to speak evil about God. And after what? What you speak evil? God now do his miracle. You'll be ashamed with him. So, oh God, I am sorry. It is better for you to stand fast and hold on to what you believe and hold on to who God is. And say, God, I know these challenges are temporary because I can see them. Because the Bible said, any challenge we can see with our own eyes. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. He said, if you can see it, if you can feel it, if you can hear it, you see, I will assure you they are what? They are temporal. Any challenges you can see, you can feel, you can hear, you can sense. It means your souls, because souls is the one that feels you have all the senses. Your souls is the one that go and look at things that will tell you, interpret it to you. Your soul will read the paper and say, oh, oh this sickness will kill you. The doctor has said so. But you have to speak to the paper. I said, no, not for me. Because every report is making a statement. You reject them. Praise God. Hallelujah. They wrote a letter to Josephat. He threw it to the altar of God. He said, this letter is not for me. Tell them, the letter is not for me. You will not receive any good letter this year in the name of Jesus Christ. They brought the letter. It's very written clearly. We are coming to destroy it. We're talking to God. This battle is not for me. Take over the battle. The battle is yours. Because he knows where he's standing with God. He knows the ability of God. He knows that God will not take you far to leave you on the midway. No. He always completes what he has started. If he started it, he will complete it. He will not leave you midway. No way. No way. It doesn't happen with our God. He does miracle and is ready to do it and do it and do it again. Hallelujah. But as men that are ready for him to show himself strong, God is ready to do that. Tell your neighbor, I am ready for God this year. I am ready for God this year. Say, I'm ready for his miracle this year. Say, I'm ready for his miracle this year. Because it's God. Praise him for a new door. He will open a new door. Praise him for direction. He will direct you. Him. You want to miss your own? Just 
Great time to praise God. Say, Lord, I need your direction. And it's good to direct you. And I pray for a divine direction for your home this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, I pray for a divine direction for your home in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Psalm 100 from verse 1 to 5. Psalm 100. You know, sometimes when you play music like this, some people will close their ear. They think we are making noise. I remember 24 uh, December when we were here, one church was there. They came and said, oh, are you guys making so loud music every Sunday? Yes, we do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at what the says here. He said, make what? A joyful noise. The Bible is using noise. It means no reading. It doesn't put rhythm there. You don't have to play or key A or key C. Make noise. Praise God. Hallelujah. If it sounds like noise in your ear, to God is praise. I can dance, I cannot dance, I can sing, I forget it. To you is noise. You can close your ear and go out. But to God is what? Is praise. It is a put key A, put key C, put. It is a making joyful noise. Have you seen the white people how they dance? They don't care if the music is going to the left, the down to the right. They are just dancing, jumping. Jumping. It's a sense that, that joy from their heart. Praise God. Why some people are dancing, some people are sitting and saying, why is it? It's, it's missing step. For, for the person that's jumping, dancing, it's cash his own phone. Praise God. So why do you think it's noise to God? It's praise. Some of us will lose our miracle because we are thinking, oh, he doesn't know how to sing. Oh, why is he singing? Most of us have been a victim of that. Say, oh, singing off key. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, it's off key. But to God, don't, 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 don't say noise. Bring the noise. Yes. Have you been to the club before? If you go to the club where they are dancing, if, you end, if they open the door and know, the music will nearly push you out. But bring the same people inside here. The little one we are playing here. God, devil inside them is speaking. Praise God. They say, it's too nice, it's too nice. But if you see where they are jumping, you cannot even stand in one minute. Your eardrum will nearly puff up. But when they come to church, sometimes, praise God. Don't look at them. I know a brother before you come, you mark, you bring a paper. And write, oh, today they sing off key, tomorrow the drum does much, much. He has a book. What I remember before. After the service, you bring me to, to be a pastor. You see, today this, this is. I said, ah, we are not here for lecture, you We'll bring book and write it. I'm serious. Mark. Mark how some people move, how some people walk, how in this thing is. Say, no. Let people be free. This is the house of our father. Pray, tell everybody it's my father's house. And God knows it's to worry. It's like when you leave your prayers out. What are you worried about? You are very free. Praise God. You are very free to your father. And that's how God wants to worship him this year. Free mind. Forget your guilt. The devil will always tell you you're from him. The purpose is to close your mouth. Because your freedom, your destiny lies in your praise. And you know the devil is the master of singer. He's a good singer. He was a worshiper. He worshiped God before. Before he get the throne. Praise God. So he's so angry and see you worshiping him because he knows the power in worship. He knows doors can open when you worship. He no miracles to happen when you worship. So he's so angry. Because in his mind, he thought since he left worshiping God, nobody should worship God again. How about you see some friends or some people that when you have issue with them, they will like that all oh, and over hate you. There are people like that. You have issue with them, they will be talking around just to create more enemy for you. They will be going from place to place. Even what you don't do, they just because they just want everything to crumple around you. That kind of hatred. That is what the bitterness is inside of them. 
Because he's, he's quit worshiping God. He wants God to be a known that nobody worships God. And that's why he's going from one place to the other, creating problems, so that I'm good worshiping God. But you know, I have make up my mind. I will keep on worshiping him. I have make up my mind. I will keep on worshiping him. The devil don't want to hear that. We have to go to that place. So nothing will take the worship from me. And I pray that nothing will take his worship from your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Psalm 42, verse 5 to 6. Psalm 42, 5 to 6. The Spirit is speaking to the soul here. He said, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, will I remember thee from the land of Jordan and of the Harmonites from the hill Mesa. Praise God. Hallelujah. Like I told you before, I say your soul is the one that will bring the bad news. But your spirit is fighting against the bad news. Praise God. Amen. Because your soul is your eyes, your senses, your feelings. My heart will tell me, look at the way that Charles look at you. She hates you. See, she roll her eyes. Praise God. And maybe I take it to my mind. Tomorrow she greet me and say, ah, she looked at me last week yesterday. Because the soul brings the bad news. But your, the Bible says here that my spirit is fighting. Ask me, why are you cast down? Is it because what that brother said? Is it because the thing that's not working as a plan? Why are you cast down? Do you have hope in God? Because he's saying, you should have cast yourself down. Don't let the situation put you on the floor. Keep your hope in God. Tell them, keep your hope in God. He said, why cast you down? What is your problem? And that's why we have to take good caution to take control of the flesh. So when the soul sees, we can't tie it in the spirit. Praise God. That things may be able to work according to the will of God for our life. Every as we walk out of here, we live in the world. But the Bible says we are not of the world. Hallelujah. But as long as we live here, people will wrong you. People will offend you. If you are preparing for life without offense, praise God. You can only find that in the sanctuary or in the burial And none of, you, none of you will go there in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Not now. People will offend you. Your soul will tell you what it says about you is wrong. People will bring bad news to you. They will talk about you. They will tell you about your pastor. Oh, don't go to that church. They will tell you, tell pastor about you. That sister, that brother. But what happened? I will tell my soul, listen to them. Praise God. I make up my mind that the spirit is the one that will lead and direct me. Because if I want to see something that's eternal, I must listen to the spirit. He said, whatever I see with my eyes, they are temporary. He said, but if you cannot see it, they are eternal. And it's better for us to look at things that is eternal. And that will keep us from worshiping him. He says, so you don't need to cast yourself down. You don't have hope in God. If you can remember what God has done for you, you will be cast yourself down. You will not be saying, God, where are you? Remember what happened to the Israelites. The Bible says, Israelites, they just keep on murmuring every time against God. Every year they murmur. God does miracle in their life, they murmur. God, everywhere, every step, they keep on murmuring. You can see that in the book of Numbers chapter 14. They were murmuring against God. At the point in the life of God said, I am so angry to these ones. I want to destroy them. Moses begged God. But yes, they were still murmuring. And it comes to the time God said, no. This one will not enter the promised land. We, we cause with their money. He said, they saw the works of my hand. They saw my miracle. They saw the testimony. They saw the breakthrough. But yet, they still murmur about what God can do. They still speak evil about God. Even when you murmur, you are speaking evil about God. 
But when you bless him, you praise him, you are speaking well of him. Amen. So anyone that is mumbling about what God has not done, God may punish you for that. Stay with don't mumble. Don't mumble. But bless the name of the Lord. And I'm saying, God said, because you mumble, you will not see what I have done for you. You are looking at what I have not done. Instead of you to praise me for what I have done. He said, none of them will see the promised land. Only Caleb and Joshua and the children that will see the promised land. Why? Because they mumble. They were not ready to give thanks to God. And we know the tell by the book of Luke. Luke chapter 17, verse 17 to 19. Luke 17, 17 to 19. You see what happened to the tell lepers. Ten were here. Only one. Who is stranger? Praise God. Familiarity is a problem. Stranger is the one that came out to give thanks. Praise God. So the rest are so familiar with the son of the carpenter. Praise God. So familiar, the son of carpenter. So all it gets spirit of entitlement. After all, I'm entitled to the healing. But one of them see differently that this is not how I was. Something has changed in my life. The Bible says he went back to Jesus to thank him. You know what we read in the book of First uh, Thessalonians 5, verse 16 to 18. He said, It is the will of God for you to give thanks. It means every time that God will do something for you. Is waiting for you to come back and give thanks. Because when they go back to Jesus, Jesus look at the left and say, I thought I ate eight, ten of you. Where are the nine? It means Jesus was waiting to see that they're supposed to come back and thank me. I was those one as so excited with you to the heart. Oh oh, I am here. That's Carry them up. They start running around telling people about what God has done. The body forgot to go back to God and thank Him. To say, Lord, I knew how I was before. And I know where I am right now. And Jesus said, Where are the rest? And that's the question Jesus is asking most of us. You knew where God has taken you from, you know where you were before. You know how God has moved you to the next phase of your life. Some of us were not married before. God gave you a wife. Hallelujah. No husband. God gave you a husband. Don't write you up that you can't have a kid, but yet you have children. Hallelujah. On the point of death, God healed you. Yes, Everything is working because God stands by you. He said, Where are the rest? It made me to understand that God is. Waiting for the people that will come back to say thank you. I want to say, congratulate you this afternoon that you are one of the people that say, God, I have come to say thank you. Amen. Tell me, more is coming for you. More is coming for you. Say, completion is coming for you. Coming for you. The Bible told me that the leper that came back, the only one that came back, he got a whole blessing, Amen. a whole miracle, yes. a whole healing. Amen. Probably those ones. Their hand is still here, but no, no more injury. But you might say, Oh, it means maybe the finger will go back. Praise God. Amen. For those who will be going around with the heal, half healed body, praise God. And that's why some people they got an idea or got something, or God bless, got a husband, they run away before they know things are working against them. I pray for you this year. Any mistake that the devil will bring before you, that Lord will open your eyes to see them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The devil will not rejoice over your life. Amen. The devil will not rejoice over your children. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. you will not kill to worship in him. Amen. If I want to tell you that there are no challenges this year, I will be deceiving you. Tell your neighbor, in challenges lies your praise. Say, in challenges lies even your testimony. What do you want to tell Paul and Silas? What do you think people will see when they come out from the prison? They will have that audacity to even wait. The Bible says the the uh, the the word that you say, people that guide the prison, they were scared when they saw the door open. 
They said, don't be scared, we are here. Tell me, well, if it's God that does a miracle. God they were scared. They told me they were going to run. I said, no, 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 no. We knew where the miracle came from. We knew if you open the door, nobody can shut it. We knew our deliverance has been completed. So we should be scared. They were not panicking. They waited to see. Because tomorrow when you say, oh, opportunity will run. Because they praised and they were expressing something to happen. So the people who saw the bottle, then this is what they are waiting for God to do. Because they knew God come in the praise of his people. When they come from a genuine heart. They say, we are here, we are not going anywhere. If he opened the door, he keep the door wide open. See, who the kill of David. If he open a door, no man can shut. If he shut a door, no man can open. Once he opened it, no one that can open, close it. No police, no nobody. That gave them the confidence to stand. They say, we are here. They were celebrated out of prison. And I pray for you this year. From January to December, your home, your life will be celebrated. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said, your home and your life will be celebrated. Amen. Doors will open for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Nobody can close the door that God will open. Don't be scared. Dear it, dear the devil. He doesn't have power. He has tricks. Tell him, but don't fall to his tricks. Don't fall to his tricks. Power belongs to God. Hallelujah. Does God still do a miracle? Yes. Your life is even a miracle. If you want to see a miracle, go into the hospital. Then you know your life is a miracle. Waiting for a bigger miracle, just go, go to the psychiatry office of the uh, hospital. Then you recognize that your life is what? It's a miracle. So put your mind at rest and focus on God. Let him do what he says he will do. If pastor opened door for you, I may not be able to hold the door till the daybreak. If I help you to carry your load, my hand will so weak, I will drop it. If it's your husband or your wife that help you to carry your load, believe me, at a time, they will insult you. But if God carries your load, if God opens the door, tell them nobody can shut it. Tell them you believe that nobody can shut the door that God opened. Say, yes, I believe. Nobody can shut it. You have said you have been here. Nobody can bring you back to sickness. Our pastors in, the, in our church in Belgium, she was giving a testimony two days ago, or yes, it was just yesterday, yeah. about what happened to his wife. They diagnosed that she have. Something now, 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 boom on your belly. Swollen. Prepare for the operation. Do all scan everything. Till they went in praise. Pray, praise God. They said, no, God, not this. But when they went to the hospital, the hospital gave them this. He said, my guess they must operate her. But believe you me, They've said everything, they'll do whatever they want. They've got to see. What happened? We can't find anything here. Yeah. True life story. They cannot find anything. They were asking him, did you give her African house to drink? <laughs> say, maybe you give her African. Then I say, you see, this is what they believe they have, but we don't believe them. <laughs> He said, we will give him the African, he uh, said, no, she's not a, we only pray. He said, oh, pray? He said, wow. They do all tests, check all tests, do all tests. He said, ah. But for the picture of what he saw, very big. And within that week, you know that he said, after two months or something, he said, he said, my we must do the operation. But they got there, they're like, what's, what's going on here? What's going on here? 
Because God wants to reveal something. Hallelujah. And I know this year, every one of you will share an amazing testimony Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you can only walk with God. He says, here is not too heavy to hear you. His hand is not too short to save. But it's the new way they. It means God can do everything if you allow him to do it. He said, but if you look it in our hearts, it's the only one that can make it here. here. Praise God. He said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, that Lord will not, that Lord will not hear me. So as you journey through this year, please forget people that have hurt you. Let it be in the past. Let us put it in the past. And move on. There are more ahead of you that you ever think of. If you think of the past, you'll be trapped in the past. Just move on. So that you can be able to see what God has ahead of you. God got an amazing thing ahead. God put our eyes here in front of us we can move forward. Just keep on moving. Amen. Don't go and look at the Instagram page of the person that has wronged you. Maybe something bad happened to them. Some people will go and search. I thought maybe you say, oh, it happens then. Oh, yeah, I know. Is this still alive? They say, Salam. <coughs> I thought he would be dead. It means you have not let go. Praise God. When we will hear that they celebrate, send them a message, congratulations. Free them from your heart. Let them carry the body. If they are fighting, you shift the body on them. You move on. Praise God. Pray for them. So that your praise can be accepted. You see, if you regard the equity, it means if you allow sin to dwell in your heart, it says God will not hear you. If you say God will not hear you, including your praise, will not be accepted. So it means not all praise God accepts. He accepts praise from people that do from their heart. A clean heart. Because our God is, tell your neighbor, God is holy. God is holy. He doesn't regard the neighbor with him. He wants you to come clean to him. Come boldly to him. Forsake your sin. Allow him to speak to you. There are amazing things you can do this year. You don't need to steal to rise. You don't need to shit people to rise. You don't need to go and sleep with women or do some this nice of You are even lose your integrity. The woman sleep around you. You thought they would not know you. They know you. You just know your integrity to zero. A man, married man, going around with woman. You can hide it, but sometimes when they know you are there. Come on now. You are respected because you are so you have integrity to stay with your wife or stay with your husband. Once you start sleeping around, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. If you want to not want to marry, don't marry. If you're ready for marriage, you're ready for marriage. Praise God. Just put away your sins. If you make up your mind to choose somebody, stay with the person. Forget your mistake, move ahead. Tell your neighbor, move ahead. Say, move ahead. Say, the devil is a lion, just move ahead. Forget your wounds. Some of us made a mistake. Forget it. Just move with Christ. I knew a man that uh, he made a bitter mistake in his marriage. Not his fault, the fault of the wife. But now, the man is married happily with another woman because the, the, the woman went and married and that man left him. I know a little bit about their story. The man was in pain, struggled through years. Last time I saw the man, he was very fresh because the bondage had been taken off his shoulder. Hallelujah. The woman did some horror thing to the man. Which I know. 
I was even there to try to settle them, but the man, the woman said, I found somebody that cannot go back again. And the woman just left her. After a few months or few years, something like that. The man remarried. But when I saw him last time, I think about a few weeks ago, very fresh. Have his mind back. Praise God. Your life with God is what matters. Very, very important. I always said that people, a dangerous marriage or a marriage that is not having peace, if the care is not taken, both of you will land in hell. Tell your neighbor, I will not land in hell. Because the closest person to you is your wife or your husband. Maybe the time you are busting yourself, throwing your shirt at that, that way the trumpet is sound. They will say, hey God, this is the woman you gave to me. They will say, you choose it yourself. Praise God. I will say, God, you are the husband you gave to me. You, say, you are the one that married your husband yourself. Praise God. So this year, please, very important, look inward. Where have I made it? And I know my God can come to the aid of any home. And I know that's the God is coming to rescue the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Everything revolves marriage, revolves around marriage. Everything. 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 Your children will not make mistakes in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will not choose strongly in the name of Jesus. Amen. The one that lead will lead in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. I pray for every home under the sound of my voice this year. Whatever that the devil have thrown to torment you, your home is totally free Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Your home is totally free Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Look at what the Bible says in the book of Joel. Shabbat Shalom. See, the second part of it. Say, let the weeks do what? See, I am. Change your language this year for God to act. While you are praising God, change your language. When you are sick, say, I am strong. Your words go a long way. Except if you don't know who you are. Your word is very, very important. Especially when your life is in Christ, your word carry weight. If your word is not important, God will not say, I will even judge you with the careless word you talk. It's every clearest word that will come out of your mouth. You take account, we are counting for them. So now you are telling me your word is immaterial? No! If God can take account of your word, that oh, oh, every clearest word that you speak, He will even judge you with them. And now you are saying, when you speak evil of your life, evil of your children, you think God would not, would not be looking and allow the devil to torment you. Praise God. Sickness, I am strong. You don't have money in your bank account. I am wealthy. And indeed, we are all wealthy. Amen. Because we have a father that says, Silver and gold is mine. Amen. Silver and gold belong to him. The miraculous father that can do all things and it took it on her eyes. And I know my God will do it for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can we just rise up to my feet? I'm going to lift the name of the Lord. I'm going to bless his name. Say, Lord, I pray for your mercy, for your favor over my life, over my home, over my marriage, in the name of Jesus. Father, give me a new tongue that may speak well of you. That may bless your name at all times. Whatever situation that comes, you will not take my praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will continue to praise you. I will continue to exalt you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, nothing will take the praise from my mouth. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Bless be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. If there's anyone on the sound of my voice that have not given their life to Jesus, I give you this moment to speak in my bit. I want to say after me silently in your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you today. Lord Jesus, I give my life to you today. Lord Jesus, I give my life to you today. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. 
As from today, I will continue to do your will in the name of Jesus. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sake. I believe that you rose from grave after three days. And I know you are seated on the right hand of your Father. And I know you are coming back for me. Lord Jesus, save me. Lord Jesus, save me. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Shout a bigger hallelujah. hallelujah. It is time for Thanksgiving. Quiet please. Why we appreciate God?
Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. As we are about to close, I have a reason to be grateful. I have a reason to be thankful. I have a reason to be praising. I have a reason to be thankful. Jehovah, we see. Of the month and also 
the year 2024. We speak in the realms of the Spirit. All month and all year 2024. Hear the word of the Lord. 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 The Bible says that prepare a temple before me in the presence of my enemies. Psalm 24. When you get a big lifted up on your ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord, Son and Mighty, the Lord, Mighty in battle as you progress, as you go through 2024. Every day, that the enemy has spoken concerning your life, we declare it be lifted up. Be lifted up. Be lifted up. Be lifted up. And all those gates that God has opened for your life, no power of darkness will show them. Get some favor, get some success, get some progress, get some elevation, get some promotion, get some financial achievement, get some spirituality. Be open. Get some anointing. Get some anointing. Get some deliverance. Get some deliverance. Father, behold your people. We came here this morning, the first Sunday of the year, and now we're about to go. Lord, with our hands meet the eye, declaring. Our majesty, our love, declaring that we love you. We lift our hands. That love, make it again into this world and make it. We will go back. We brought nothing into this world. But Lord, in this first Sunday, we make our declaration that we make a, 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 we make a great commitment that we will serve you all the days of our life. We will serve you. Any power we told in that we that 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 we should not serve you, oh God, in your power, we destroy the power in your life. My God. Behold your people. Amen. Anoint us all afresh. Amen. With the oil of holiness. Amen. The oil of gladness. Amen. The oil of power. Amen. Anoint us afresh. Amen. Consecrate us afresh. Amen. Every man, every woman, even the children who are here. Lord, thank you, Lord, for what you have done, what you are doing, and what you continue to do. It is marvelous in our hearts. And to you be the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And all what has happened here this afternoon, this morning to now, we saw some them is an impression blood of Jesus Christ. Father, this week, as we go forth, we walk in your name. Oh God, go forth with us. Thank you for your legions of angels that you have discharged concerning our lives, our homes, our family, this ministry, and all those who watch online. Oh God. Wind of the spirits, move, move and touch, touch. Thank you, Father. Be still and know that I am the God. I will be exalted among the nations. Be still. Be still. Thank you, Lord. We give you the praise. Clap your hands and give thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Praise God. Can we just point in our heart? As I was sitting there, the Lord just told me to bring me a prayer point. No, I told you the first quarter of this year, you will be the first person to testify. In the name of Jesus. Can we point our hand towards the prayer point in my hand? 
and begin to speak upon the prayer point. Even if you don't have yours there, speak your mind what you want God to do for you. Just begin to pray on this prayer point that Lord, let me be the first to testify. Rotonda la bos apo sakonda la bos atole braliades limbo sotoli braco doleados ya catoli dias zarobonda bos sotoli diabos thank you Jesus oh raton de garabos o koto I was able to tell you just because the Lord thank you just because the Lord thank you because you have done it in the name of Jesus I Father in the name of Jesus I speak on behalf of all your children. I lifted up their heart desire before you. Lord, speedily answer them. Amen. I have told them that before the first quarter, there will be amazing miracle in their life. Yes, there will be amazing testimony in their home. Amen. Father, do it for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, even those that do not write their prayer points in my hand, either they are in this assembly or they are watching us online. Father, you know their heart desire. Yes. Father, before the first quarter, Lord, amazing the answer their prayer. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know that thing that you'll be believing God for. The Lord said, I have released them into your hands. New idea, new vision. I just be released in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for everyone that is sound of my voice. Whatever you touch as from now, heaven shall touch in the name of Jesus. I join my faith with the faith of my wife and all anointed man of God in the house. Whatever you touch this year, the Lord shall touch in the name of Jesus Christ. Goodness and mercy shall follow you. From the beginning to the end of this year, you will celebrate. In the name of Jesus, you will enjoy his favor. You will count your blessing. In the name of Jesus, failure is far from you. Bad dream is far from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, power that shall change your destiny, that Lord conquer with fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he said, which long life will last satisfy you. You will not die young. Your children will not die young. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you will live long in life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. whatever you have started, the Lord will empower you to complete. Help out from north, from south, from east, from west. They will found this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Lord, I pray for everyone, even online, watching us. Whatever that seems too difficult for them, and those under the sound of my voice here, yes. Father, do it for them. Amen. What they can do for themselves, Father, do it for them. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I soak their prayer point in the blood of Jesus. Lord, Jesus. I soak all their prayer point in the blood of Jesus. Lord, Jesus. We bless your name because of answer. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Shout a little hallelujah. Let us share the grace, please. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet on the shoulder of the Holy Spirit. Live with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall be in the house of the Lord forever and never. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Shout the bigger hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. It is well with you in the name of Jesus. Go and do well.